Now we're going to go to the latest on that deadly shootout in New Jersey that left four innocent people dead. Police exchanging a barrage of bullets with the suspect during the hours-long standoff. Adrian Bankert is in Jersey City with the latest. Good morning, Adrian. Good morning, Michael. We're in front of this kosher supermarket, a scene of devastation. Now, we did check in with authorities at a press conference this morning, and they are saying they believe that this location was targeted because of the way the two suspects slowly drove up to the market, calmly opening the door, armed with long guns. This morning, the first glimpse of the aftermath inside that Jewish market, the epicenter of that deadly police shootout. <laughs> The chaos began at this cemetery a little less than a mile away where investigators say Detective Joseph Seals tried to question the suspects who may have been connected to a weekend homicide. The two opening fire, killing Seals, wounding two other officers before fleeing in a rented moving truck that had been reported stolen. Dressed in black and armed with high-powered rifles, they drove the truck to a Hasidic community where they entered the kosher market and began firing. All units are to maintain cover, maintain cover at that location. The neighborhood turned into a war zone. Local police, SWAT teams, the ATF and FBI all responding, taking cover behind vehicles, snipers roaming rooftops. Every time any approach is attempted or anyone comes out of cover, he opens fire. Never before in my life. That was like a war zone. I mean, it wasn't just a little pistol. Those were big, big guns. There goes the gun. As the gun battle raged on for more than four hours, terrified residents ran for safety with their hands in the air. As soon as I got back up, with, all you heard was another hail of gunfire. Stop right here. 46 local schools on lockdown. When someone said get down, we all ran to the side of the room. And then that's where it all started. We started crying and running. Police pulling each other to safety. Finally, the all clear word that the suspects had been killed. Police stormed the market, discovering three other bodies, either customers or workers. The mayor of Jersey City is the first to suggest that this may have been a targeted attack against the city's Jewish community. Mayor de Blasio tweeting that this tragically confirms that a growing pattern of violent anti-Semitism has now turned into a crisis for our nation. After dark, more than 30,000 of the city's children finally allowed to leave school, rushing into the arms of their waiting parents. My baby, this is okay. Seals, the officer killed, is a 15-year veteran of the force. He leaves behind five children. This morning, he's being remembered for his bravery. He was our leading police officer in removing guns from the street. And a law enforcement official tells ABC News that at least one of the suspects posted anti-Semitic remarks online. They're not saying this is a part of the attack, but they are saying it's a part of their investigation. Now, I will tell you this too, Mayor de Blasio condemning acts of anti-Semitism, saying they must be defeated aggressively and decisively. Good evening, I'm Stephan Holt, and this is News 4 Now for Wednesday, December 11th. First up, the weather. It's going to stay cold tonight. Tomorrow, around the same. Highs just barely making it above the freezing mark. Turning now to the news, and we are getting our first look at yesterday's attack in Jersey City that left a police officer dead, two suspects, and three innocent people also killed. This surveillance video shows both shooters hopping out of a stolen U-Haul van with assault-style rifles just minutes after gutting down Jersey City Detective Joseph Seals. As they make their way into the kosher market, you can see people running for cover. In the back of that van, authorities say they found a pipe bomb. Three people inside that store were killed by flying pieces of metal during the gunfire. They've been identified as 49-year-old Miguel Douglas, 32-year-old Mindy Ferentz, a mother of five, and 24-year-old Moshi Deutsch, the son of prominent activist Abe Deutsch. We are also learning more about the two shooters who stormed into that store. David Anderson and Francine Graham were both found dead after that hours-long standoff with police. Sources telling us that Anderson was a one-time follower of the Black Hebrew Israelites, a fringe group labeled as a hate group by the Southern Poverty Law Center. Authorities are looking into whether he wrote anti-Semitic and anti-police posts on what appeared to be his social media profiles. Investigators are not yet saying Tuesday's violence was a hate crime, but Jersey City Mayor Stephen Fulop had this to say. Um, there's no question it was an attack on the Jewish community. There's no other way to interpret it. Call I am Yahal Bashim al Also give a double honor to the elders of GMS and honor to the Akiyam. And peace and bless you, brothers and sisters that listen all for the elect. Call I am Yahal Bashim al and um, we see today, man, boy, boy, he saw us at it, man, right before the, the new year comes in, <laughs> man, you know, we was um, saying we don't know how 2020 was going to be, but 
We see 2019 is closing out with a bang, man. Look at Esau all of a sudden now. <coughs> it's calling out the Hebrew Israelites, man. Falsely accusing us. As you've shown in the news clip, this guy Derek Anderson, so they say, which we all know these are all false flags. This is all staged, and these are what? Crisis actors, man. Okay? They have an agenda, and we've been saying that the whole year, man. Now this devil is clamping down. You see? And YouTube, we, we brought out the information. Um, they said December 10th, which has already passed. They're now justified in just pulling down channels. They don't want no racial or hateful content or conspiracy videos on their platform. You see, and right after that, bam, shooting, mass shooting, six people dead, which we all know they, they deal with signs and numbers. Six people dead. Um, uh, and all of a sudden, oh yeah, he was, I heard about the shooting yesterday, but they didn't get their details together. And all of a sudden now, um, on, on the 11th, they brought out all the details. And they linked it to the black Hebrew Israelite group. You see? This thing is, is here, man. What we're saying is here. It's now being made manifest now, man. Playtime is over. So we tell our people, man, to get serious, man. Okay, this thing is just is deeper than just being um, just being an Israelite. You know, the most high is black. Because most of these Israelites that you see. Especially a lot of these Yah Israelites, they just surface level Israelites, man. Okay, these other congregations, they're not warning you what's about to come down, man. Esau is not going to make no distinction between, oh, you with that group, or you with GMS, or ICPK, IOIC. He just see you as the black Hebrew Israelites, man. And he's going to link all of us in one. Okay? Okay, that's their narrative, man. That's what they're pushing, man. You see, but we got news for you, devil, because we expect this to happen because our Lord Yahweh Shai told us this would happen, man. And this is just the beginning, okay? This is nothing, man. Persecution is going to amp up, and we just did the video on that last week on Highways and Hedges about the smear campaign against the Israelites was going to get turned up and then bam through the spirit of Yahweh Shai. The Most High has shown us what time period we in. Okay, this is life and death. See? These devils, they're scared, man. They see this information spreading. They see Israel waking up. They see us on the highways and hedges, and they're scared, man. They see all kind of signs in the heavens. They see all kind of UFOs going in and out of the earth that they would never report to the public. And they're frightened, man. They know they have a short time, man. Okay? And now, now they're pushing out, man. First, it was early in the year, MAGA, and there was another incident in Florida, a little small incident, that is mass incident shooting. That's national news. Watch late like, international news, because they had an Australia BBC, and they putting that word out there. The Black Hebrew Israelites, the Black Hebrew Israelites, man. First of all, we don't teach to go out there and gun down the Edomites, man. Esau knows that. All right, you got a lot of them retarded, um, rogue groups. Which a lot of you guys are set up. A lot of you guys have been infiltrated. Okay, a lot of you guys have been um, uh, received handoffs. Okay, shooting guns and all that, man. That's why when they did that, brothers jumped all over y'all, man. Because this truth is not about that. You see? We serve a higher power, man. It's far greater than Esau. That's Esau's gift. You see? But Esau is going to tie us to this terrorism. Which he's the biggest terrorist on the planet. He's terrorized the planet. He has terrorized every single group of people, every single race of people on this earth. He has terrorized them, man. But he's now putting that label on us and he's using his media, his witchcraft to do it. You see? But this is what the scripture says, 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 8. It says, For we can't do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. We bring out some brief scriptures. Definitely gonna consider on the highways and hedges. Low willing this week. You know, we gotta be more circumspect when we out there as well. Um, because uh, it's getting amped up, man. See, a lot of people 
are starting to know who you are now. Um, our face is out there. You see? Especially brothers who go out there pushing, man. Your face is out there, man. You see what I'm saying? So the persecution go amped up. But there's a great reward for this thing. So I'm going to read this one more time. 2 Corinthians 13 8 said, For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth, man. So nothing can be done against the truth. It's all press is good press, man. It may seem negative, but nah, they just cause this truth to spread more and more. Because the Most High did say he was going to give us fame in that land where they put us to shame. You know, right now they're going to downtrodden us and talk down to us and seem like we're bug outs and we're crazy and we're terrorists and extremists. That's a part of the persecution. But then the power's going to come. Then what, man? Then what you people going to say, man? Because I was looking at the common boards. And you niggas are just fucking stupid, man. Let me just excuse my French. You read niggas' comments because they, you know, they, they pictures tied to their name. So you see who's making the comment. It's like, oh, that's them bug out niggas on the corner. Uh, there's all people saying that. It's not even, which might be obviously Edomites. We know that. But you have other people saying, yeah, that's them bug out niggas on the corner um, thinking that they're Jews. Other niggas like, oh, them niggas hate Africans when they're Africans. Like, you Jakes, you don't get it, man. That's why we beyond the point now of going back and forth and debating with y'all, man. All the all the information and scriptures that's been brought out and all the debating you guys and arguing is pointless, man. Okay? You want to believe the narrative that this devil is pushing? Go right ahead, man. Y'all going to see for y'all self this man is Satan, man. Because in New Jersey, where that situation supposedly happened, they locked down all 46 schools. So you mean to tell me one guy with his girlfriend, right, which was mainly him, they said, who had heavy artillery gun. It took the ATF, the FBI, the SWAT team, and other agencies, and they had to lock down only four, all 46 schools just to kill this one guy? Hmm? Does that make any sense, man? There was a shooting in Florida, which I put the news report up, where they held the UPS guy hostage. So first of all, SWAT wasn't even involved. It was just different police departments that handled that situation on the highway. So they tell me this one guy, which his girlfriend wasn't armed, it was just him. And supposedly both of them died, which is, that's usually all there's the case with these false flags. This one guy with heavy artillery it took all you agencies and you had to lock down all 46 schools just to kill this one dude. Come on, man. Come on, man. He saw us getting sloppy, man. You get the next precept, but it's all prophecy. It's all prophecy, man. Because you had this in times past. Let me get this example real quick about Haman, the Edomite, the Amalekite. All right? And that spirit that he had in him is the spirit that Esau always had in him, man. Because he knew the history on what, um, uh, you're going back to Saul. Saul was supposed to get the job done. You see what I'm saying? And he did it, man. And Samuel killed the um, King Agag. But it was... Uh, um, I'll see some Edomites escape when you read during the time of David. You see? But David had a perfect hatred for Esau, man. That's why a lot of them flew down into Egypt when you read 1 Kings 11. But we're going to read this, though. It says... After these things, this is during the time of the Persians, King Artaxerxes pro Haman, who was a Macedonian, by the way, also we read the editions of Esther, but his bloodline went to Amalek, all right? Which are you white people, man? The son of Hamadatha the Agai, and advanced them and set his seat above the princes that were with him. And all the king's servants that were in the king's gate bowed and reverenced Haman, for the king had so commanded concerning him. But Mordecai, an Israelite, a Benjamite, bowed not, nor did reverence. Then the king's servant, which were in the king's gate, said unto Mordecai, Why transgress thou the king's commandment? Now it came to pass, when they spake daily unto him, he hearkened not unto them, that told Amon, to see whether Mordecai's matters would stand, for he told them that he was a Jew. And when Haman saw that Mordecai bowed not, so Amon, an Edomite, he got promoted. I think he was second to the king. And Mordecai didn't bow to him. That's not, you see what I'm saying? And he was like, who's this guy, man? 
This is where Perim comes in. All right? He's like, um, he found out that he was a Jew. Let's read. And when Haman saw that Mordecai bowed not, nor did he reverence, then was Haman full of wrath, and he thought scorn to lay hands on Mordecai. Let's read this. He said, and he thought scorn to lay hands on Mordecai alone, for that showed him the people of Mordecai. Wherefore Haman sought to destroy all the Jews that were throughout the whole kingdom of Artaxerxes, even the people of Mordecai, man. You see? And we all know the story of Haman, the traps that he tried to set. Eventually it backfired and it fell upon him and his nine sons. The same gallows that he had to hang Mordecai, it fell upon him, man. You see, and that's what's going to happen to Esau now. He's building up a case against us. They've been looking at us for a long time. Now they're making their move, you see. But when he did, he made his move. The Most High made his move, man. You see, you guys don't understand. You're coming up against higher powers, man. Okay? So, so Amman not only wanted to kill Mordecai, which Mordecai didn't bow, he said, you know what? I'm going to exterminate all of you because that's that spirit in him, man. That hatred, man. And we've seen that play out today. See, you got our people today. They trimming their way to seek love. We're not trimming nothing to seek, to please you other nations, man. We on the rise, man. We going to rule, man. We going to keep banging on this beast with these scriptures, man. Period, man. Until the famine of the word come, which we see is right around the corner, man. They pulling channels. They pulling out content. Esau's demonizing us on his media. It's right around the corner, man. We don't got that much time left, man. All right. So let me read another precept and I'm going to close this out soon. Like I said, I don't want to do nothing too long. I want to save the rest for the highways and hedges. This is more of a report than anything. But um, like the scripture says here in Psalm 715, it says, This is going into who the wicked. He made a pit and digged it and has fallen into the ditch which he made. See, his mischief shall return upon his own head and his violent dealing shall come down upon his own pain. Man. You see? So the pit that he's digging, he's going to fall in. He's going to backfire, man. He's giving us free publicity. You see? Because people look at us, oh, that's just some bug out group. We're not going to pay attention to them. But they, that in, indirectly may wake up some of the elect, man. And like we said, the most I going to make us the new superstars, man. And when that power come in, man, everybody's before the missiles hit, everybody's going to know who has the truth, man. Okay, it's gonna be known. It's gonna be most is gonna make it known, man. Okay. Right? The world is gonna know, man. Who the true biblical Israelites are, man. Okay? That's why King David said Psalms 141 and 10. Let the wicked fall into his own nets while I withhold escape, man. Matter of fact, that was another precept. Read um, verse 8. But mine eyes unto thee, o, o power, the Lord, in thee and my trust, leave not my soul destitute. Keep me from the snares or the traps which they have laid for me, and the gins of the workers of iniquity. Yet they're the workers of iniquity. Let the wicked Esau fall into their own nets, whilst that I withal escape. Yeah, we're going to escape, man. In the name of Yahweh Shemiel Shah, we're going to escape, man. We're going to pass over these traps, man. That's why we ain't shooting no guns on no internet. Okay? That's stupid and that's foolish, man. And he's going to use that footage against y'all, man. See? This devil got the Southern Poverty Law Center got all the camps on there already, man. Right, there's, there's a lot of you brothers may have agents in your camp, man. This thing, this thing is going. This, this thing is real, man. All right. The scripture says, "All those who live godly in Yahweh Shai shall suffer persecution." The persecution is coming because Yahweh Shai went through the same thing. Okay, but let me read this Matthew twenty-four. 
So yeah, how shot warned us, and I'm gonna close it out soon. The devil's coming down with great wrath. Man, Matthew 24 verse. He said, um, verse 9, Then they shall deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you. Some brothers are going to die, be martyrs, witnesses, and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. You see, you're going to be hated, man. This is a part of it. And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. Yeah. Especially when this thing get turned up, some of your so-called family friends going to turn you in. That's how much heat Esau is going to put out here, man. That's how hot, crazy the demonization is going to get, man. People, own family members, going to um, betray them. <coughs> Especially when he's pushing that microchip, too. Mm, let me see. Let me jump. Verse 12. And because iniquity or sin shall abound. The love of many shall wax cold. There's going to be a lot of betrayals out here in these last days. The love of many shall wax cold. Why? Because I read the scripture after. And Esau is going to come down with great wrath. All right? But Yahushai said, But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. So the Most High is expecting brothers to endure, to become hard men. Okay? You may lose your job, whatever the case is. It's gonna get it's gonna get rough, man. Okay, your face gonna be out there more. You brothers, that's uh, you know, you know, you got the church brothers and sisters that listen. <clears throat> Esau got your IP address. You got dudes who put content up on Facebook and Instagram, Israel, Yasharala. That's we telling you know our people to get on a deeper level, man. Okay, because you may not, they may not necessarily believe. Um, <clears throat> in the prophecies, but Esau is lumping all of us together, man. He's going to come after you as well. And then what? And our people that scoffing, you see you see what happened to you, man. All 46 of your schools was locked down in your neighborhoods, man. Okay? That's that new world order right there, man. And after the next terrorist attack, you better believe this country is going to be on lockdown, man. These are drills, okay? But, <clears throat> let me close it out with this precept here. Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. It says, verse 12, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, right? The elect, man, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the, the sea, for the devil is come down unto you. Okay? Esau, Edom, man. Okay, starting with the elite on down. And his military having great wrath because he know it, but he have but a short time. They know they have but a short time, man. They know the chariots. They see the chariots, man. And they scared as hell, man. But the scripture says for us, let me jump up one verse, verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb. So we're going to overcome Esau by the blood of the lamb. You have a shot. And by the word of their testimony. That's it. We don't got to get no guns, man. We're going to say in the scriptures that we overcame him by weapons, man. No bombs, no different device. We don't got to do a, a carnality. The scripture says they overcame him by the blood of the lamb, Yahweh Shai, and the word of their testimony, man. This book, man. This is what's bringing down this kingdom. This is why this devil is being offended, because the truth is spreading, man. And he's been revealed, he's been exposed, man. He's being brought down. His image has been torn down, man. The lives that they had set up for centuries is now being destroyed. And the only way he can fight us is by setting up lies and deceit, man. But we're going to overcome him in the end because it's already written, all right? The scripture says, and they love not their lives unto death. So <clears throat> the devil put your head in the guillotine and give you that last option. You better tell him, listen, man, go ahead and do what you got to do, man. See? Because you're going to get resurrected anyway. The first one be on the chariot. Oh, that might just be your test, man. Hell, the Lord could give you power right there and then. See? We don't know how this thing gonna play out, man, but it's, it's gonna be it's gonna get crazy, man. But the light is at the end of the tunnel. Okay, which is our salvation. So with that, we say call Allah, Yahweh Shah, man. 
that we got to keep pushing, you know, remain strong. And like Yahweh Shai said, we have to endure. That I'm going to say, Shalom.